again, <clears throat> welcome uh, Tim Barnes here, Marion County uh, OSU Extension Educator, uh, located here in Central Ohio. Uh, just a, a very brief, short review here. Uh, it's getting to be the time of year. You, know, you got to think about finishing up uh, your decisions for farm programs for next year. Uh, the deadline at your FSA office is March 15th. Uh, so you probably want to, you know, think about that a little bit. Obviously, with the high prices, there not, may not be quite as many decisions this year. But again, we never know the variable of, you know, outside effects to to the markets and, and to weather. But uh, you know, uh, and through the years, obviously, more and more participation in, in these, uh, you know, programs. I think last year, uh, University of Illinois put out that ninety, roughly ninety three percent of the corn and soybeans uh, did participate in the programs. Uh, again, I think everybody, unless you're a new farmer, uh, you know, are aware that there's uh, some of this, to, it all deals with farm by farm level, and then some of the programs deal with crop by crop, and some of it is more uh, an all encompassing, uh, you know, uh, for the county and some of the state area programs. So uh, if you want more information, make sure you do call and uh, and talk with your FSA office in your county. Again, I was at a meeting last week and their staffing has been reduced to 25% of normal. So that basically means they can't do any in-person meeting, uh, but uh, you know, you're, you're more than welcome to call or, or email them. So this presentation is really a little, several more slides. I think I only picked out four or five and it comes from Ben Brown. Uh, most Ohio people are very familiar with Ben. Uh, he did a heck of a job here for uh, four or five years. And then since he has uh, relocated to the University of Missouri, uh, which was home to him. And uh, again, uh, big thanks to Ben for helping us out. Uh, he, he figured this out, the three bucket approach. And I think it kind of, you know, makes some sense. Uh, the commodity programs in the first bucket on the left, and then you got underlying policies where you can change it and add to those. And then you got the high coverage policies if you really want to expand out, uh, you know, the, the premiums to give you further coverage at the at these much higher levels. Now, again, as you add uh, to the programs, of course, there is a cost incurred for the, the different, um, you know, uh, options that you're getting. Uh, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time, but this slide is kind of self-explanatory. It does come here for uh, corn in uh, Hardin County up in the Kenton area. And again, you know, as you look at the chart, you got actual revenue and then you got the guarantees. And then based what happens with uh, at what level you're at and that, uh, you know, what, uh, what happens with the uh, the, the prices and uh, the outside uh, circumstances to, to affect the commodity markets, uh, you know, you can see where payments are triggered and uh, where they're not. And uh, again, pretty, pretty common knowledge for a lot of people now through the years and watch this very, very closely. Uh, ben also uh, works with the Farm Bill Decision Tool. And uh, as you, uh, you can go, I got a link for that here too. Again, we're referencing Hardin County, Hardin County again. Uh, you got to spend some time and, you know, fill in the blanks here of what your, uh, your yield, what you might want to use there. And then uh, what ifs, if the yield is decreased, you can change that, you know, a, a wide range there. It's set, you see there at 35%. And then uh, national corn price out there in this other one, you can, uh, set that how you want to. It's basically then going to come up with a figure off of your farm, you know, what the uh, proposed premiums would be for this coming year and uh, where it was in the past and gives you uh, a real nice tool to help you make some additional, you know, decisions on uh, which program you want to participate in. Here's the sites I, I told you about. Uh, uh, the first one that would be for this whole presentation, the last one is uh, for our decision aid tools like we talked about there. Uh, quick summary of last year, you know, uh, we, had, uh, we had winter storms hit in Texas. You had drought in South America and the Western US. We had the army worms, uh, grasshoppers not so much here in Ohio. Of course, the hurricane, the derecho, uh, which, you know, affected uh, the, the Western states. Uh, these type of things are, you obviously can't predict them, but when they come up, they do make a big impact on uh, our, uh, our yields and also on our prices. 
Uh, right now, we're hearing a lot about the Ukraine, uh, which is part of that. Uh, China uh, is obviously working to reunify Taiwan, and then the Phase One deal, which uh, you know China so far hasn't quite lived up to what uh, the expectations were there. Supply chain issues, we hear an awful lot about that also. Uh, and again, th these are things that can come uh, that you weren't planning for, but definitely are going to affect your bottom line. Uh, like I said, uh, ARC and PLC decisions are due at FSA on March 15th. Uh, again, you can make your decision today and change it. Uh, like we said, if you don't change, uh, it, it'll roll over into what you did like last year. Uh, number one, prices are not likely to fall before, below the reference prices this year. And I, I think we know at this level, that's probably not a big surprise. Uh, ARC County will trigger more often based on variation in county yields uh, when compared to PLC. And then we talked about uh, the tool we got that you can go in and play with those different scenarios. Um, PLC with SCO continues to provide the most uh, complete risk management coverage. Uh, however, it does cost you uh, additional money to buy that. Uh, to buy up that to eliminate uh, probably a little smaller risk. So your dollar spent, dollars returned. Again, you need to analyze that yourself. So thank you for your time. Just a quick summary here. And uh, remember, these decisions need to be made before uh, the 15th.